Well, it was hard staying indoors today. I have got to say, Jim, this was one of the prettiest days we've seen in a really long time. Yeah, April, we can have really, really nice days, and this one uh, ranks right up there so far this <laughs> month, no <laughs> doubt about that. It's sure nice out there tonight, too. Let's check it out. Uh, we've got temperatures that are currently in the 60s across the area. It will be just a little bit cool again in the morning. It is still 70 degrees out there in uh, Marble Falls at last report. And so uh, in the afternoon hours, we expect temperatures to be just a bit warmer tomorrow than they were today. They were upper 70s today, so back to average tomorrow, at least the low 80s. We'll get to that forecast in a minute. A live look at downtown Austin. This is a different view. It's from southeast Travis County. That's where our Whittlesey Landscape Supply weather camera is located, at least one of the two Whittlesey land, uh, weather cameras. 68 degrees and mostly clear at Camp Mabry. And at the airport, it is 60 degrees, and skies are mostly clear there. Uh, the winds, well, they started the day pretty gusty out of the north behind that front that blew in uh, last night and produced some showers and thunderstorms over east of the Austin metro area. But they're dead calm right now and only blowing 5 miles per hour at ABIA. Our allergy forecast, we expect at least mold, oak, and grass. There could be some additional tree pollens, but they should be in the medium to low category. Around Texas tonight, a little cool in Amarillo, 48 degrees. Dallas at 62, 71 down in San Antonio, 70s from there all the way down into South Texas. Well, the storm that moved through here and brought just kind of a cloudy, a dreary day yesterday, some a drizzle early in the day, and then we had that one round of thunderstorms last night that formed east of Austin, exactly as they were supposed to. We tried to get all the weekend in and all those out outdoor events in Austin and in the Hill Country in yesterday without any significant rain. Managed to pull that off, but boy, that's not been the case to the east today. We've seen tornado touchdowns out of this system from uh, Louisiana last, last night uh, down into Florida today, so we were pretty fortunate with it. Uh, coming in behind it, not much yet. We do have a little system up here uh, in the uh, Pacific Northwest, actually moving through the uh, northern plateau area there. It will move to the southeast over the next two days and bring us our next chance of rain. When exactly? Let's go to the future weather model here. Tomorrow's going to be fine. Sun's going to be out and it's just really, really nice into the low 80s. Tuesday will be fine too. This is Wednesday. Uh, we're showing some rain showers in the area. This time of year, it's hard to not have a thunderstorm or two when you get a little front moving through, and I think that may be the case. We're showing that activity could continue Wednesday night, but then just as quickly as it got here, it moves out, and we're mostly dry Thursday on into uh, the coming weekend. We don't expect this to be a big uh, rainmaker for us, though. The uh, forecast computer models here do give some of us a half inch of rain. That would be nice, less than that out in the uh, Hill Country area. So bottom line this week, a warmer the next couple of days, uh, Wednesday showers, and then dry through Saturday, maybe Sunday too. We are thinking now in week two, as we head into early May already, we will transition into a little bit of a wetter weather pattern. And by that point, we're going to need it. Looks like this is going to be a drier than normal April in most areas. Lows tonight, 40s and low 50s. So a little bit chilly when you step outside go back to work or school uh, Monday morning, but then Monday afternoon, super sunshine and highs in the low 80s. Austin overnight, I don't think we'll drop much below 54 right in the middle of the city with mostly clear skies, a lot of sun tomorrow, and let's go with a high of 83. How's that? Here's a seven day forecast, Monday, Tuesday, mostly sunny in 80s. Wednesday, there's that chance of rain or thunderstorms. We'll go 30% right now. And then we're thinking pretty dry weather Thursday, Friday, Saturday, with another chance of showers and thunderstorms Sunday.